Well, Adrian Lorenzo was a standout baseball player at Berlin and then went on to play college ball and eventually worked as a senior director of international operations for the Miami Marlins. But not long ago, he left that world and put all of his focus into art, another passion of his. You've likely seen his work on the cleats of some of your favorite Marlins players, but this weekend it was on a canvas during Art Basel. Here's his inspiring story. Connected to the game for a long time, it, it's certainly like a big part of my identity. Um, but this thing has just been bubbling like pretty heavily for a while now. Baseball is all he's ever known. It's been his life, but art is leading off now. And it's not like a, it's not a rejection of baseball necessarily. It's just like, this is calling to me right now. It started when he was younger as a hobby he picked up from his grandma. Um, she's since passed, but uh, I, she raised me. Her, I mean, my parents raised me, but she was right there. If you know Cuban grandmother, she was very much a Cuban grandmother. Her art hangs in his house he shares with his fiance, who is the muse behind his work. She, in, in a lot of ways, she really was, uh, and still is. Uh, she's still like, I paint a lot of this, but I'll know by her reaction to the direction that where something is going, if I should kind of steer one way or steer another. Try to keep him organized, but he's like a, a little art tornado, just spinning around, doing all kinds of projects at all times. While art is his passion and clearly what he's great at, it didn't mean that leaving the world he's known for the past 30 some years was easy. Tough to walk away from something I spent so much time doing, for sure. It was like a slow, painful pull of the Band-Aid for a long time. But he stayed in the world. He puts his art on cleats on some of the top players, including Jazz Chisholm and Jesus Lazardo. I can feel, I can step away for now, like feeling like I gave a lot to it and I, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with where it's at. And I left on good terms and I wish everybody there really good. This weekend was the World Series for an artist. I always was a Art Week, Art Basel onlooker from afar, super interested in it, always jealous I couldn't engage with it. His second time participating, but an emotional one for him this year because it's his first time showcasing his art as a full-time artist. You know, I've tried to be more intentional about enjoying the journey this time around. Last year, I went through the, the anxiety, the stress of doing all the, I mean, it's stressful, don't get me wrong. But he wouldn't be here without baseball, and he still brings the beauty of the game into his art process daily. I have bombs in art. Uh, at least I swing for the fences in art. You know, baseball is a lot of moments where it's like slow, 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 focus moment. You know, hit, 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 focus moment. Pitch, same thing. It's all like a series of that, and I feel that when I go to paint, especially if I'm live painting and I can't like do some like, you know, public mess up without being embarrassed. Uh, so like I, I feel the those similar moments in painting. 